Hi guys, this is Nicole here. Um, based on my previous blog post about using Google Classroom in the band hall, I've had some requests to show you how to use Google Classroom to upload playing tests and so students can record all of their playing assignments from home. On the left hand side you'll see my fake teacher account, it's got some sample classrooms, and on the right hand side you'll see a fake student account. Um, so you can see from both ends what it looks like when you upload and turn in an assignment. We're going to go into our honor band class and submit an assignment. You click on the assignment button and you can call it whatever you like. You can be as detailed or as vague as possible. I like to be a little more specific. If you, especially if you have multiple classes or give similar but slightly differing assignments, I would be very specific about what you want to use for your playing test. Um, let's make this due on Friday. If you want to be as specific as adding a time, that's fine too. Um, the next thing you want to do is add your instructions on how you choose to record your playing assignment. Now, this is going to vary from person to person and school to school based on the kind of equipment you have. Some of you may have one-to-one -one devices and you want to use um, some sort of computer software or iPad app. That's up to you. For me, what I've used in the past is a simple website called Online Voice Recorder. Um, we had Chromebooks at my previous school and those seem to work pretty well with this website and it's very simple to use. So I want to reiterate, in your playing test um, description or as an attachment, you need to give your students instructions on how to upload a sound file. Very, very detailed. Students will find any way under the sun to tell you that their computer didn't work or something didn't upload. So make sure that there's no way that they could possibly mess it up. So let's assume our student, our sample student, knows exactly what they're doing. We don't have to upload any instructions. If you do, you can add a file or add a Google Drive file or create your own um, video tutorial on how to do it from their side of it. We'll assign it to our students. You can assign it to multiple classes if you wish. And then here on my student page, in just a minute, you'll see it automatically pop up. I hope. Oh, no, no, not going to pop up. Okay, well, I just refreshed it from up here. So we see our B-flat scale test. So the student automatically sees their test is due Friday. When they open it up, it'll take them to the assignment page, but they can also see here's a link right here. So when they click on it, they can go in and add a file. They can create a file based on what your assignment is, and then they can mark it as done, but they need to go through a website. And then, again, this is all assuming your students have been taught how to upload these recordings based on what you choose. I like this website. It seems to be pretty simple for me. So we open our voice recorder. Um, you'll have to show them most of the time it asks you to allow the microphone the whole nine yards. Depending on the student's microphone, you may or may not get a quality recording, but it depends on how specific you are on the recording that you want. So for our purposes in middle school band, just checking for, you know, right notes and right rhythms, this works fine. You'll hit record, um, and my students would say first name, last name, and then play their scale. So we're going to allow first name, last name, and then they'll play their B-flat scale. When they're done, they hit stop. We'll save it. And again, you can use any type of recorder you want. We'll save it to our desktop real quick. Now they've recorded it. Let's turn it in. So they open their assignment. We're going to add our sound file, which I'm dragging from my desktop. We'll upload. And as soon as it pops up, then I can turn it in. I can also add any extra notes I'd like, like um, my dog was barking in the background, I'm sorry, my brother slammed the door, whichever. and they have turned it in. So they can see that they've submitted it at 7.15. Now we go back over to the teacher side of it and instantly I see that my one student in my class has finished their assignment. So I click on done and I can grade the student assignment right by clicking on it. Now when I click on it on my end I can hear it. It sounds fine on me but we don't have any speakers on this computer so you can't hear actually you can't actually hear it. But the sound file that we recorded is there. So they did great on it Let's go back to our classroom. I want to give them a hundred. You've entered it. Now you 
right here you'll see that it says not return so the student doesn't know how they did instantly I can return all of their assignments I can do it for all of my students or one at a time and if I need to leave feedback like um, you missed whatever note you can give them feedback or specific comments return their assignment and instantly over here on the student side you will see that it got graded and they got a comment on it as well so they can you can give them the option to resubmit which I often do with playing test if it's unacceptable they need to resubmit it so we can give them that option to resubmit as well and that's pretty much all you need to know as far as submitting a sound file it's all up to you on playing around with um, different recording options to see what you like just make sure that you teach your students how to use it otherwise you'll face a nightmare of having kids say it didn't record I don't have a microphone um, it didn't sound right it didn't pick up this etc etc so just make sure you teach your students how to use it and you shouldn't have any trouble if you have any questions please leave a comment thanks